Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for 2.5 Dimensional Seduction, episode 7. Uh, last episode, we ended up uh, going to get uh, some picture-taking lessons done, and uh, at the very end of the episode, uh, the student council came and told us that uh, they're shutting down our club. So that's not good. We're going to have to figure out how to fix that situation before the manga club gets entirely shut down. So we'll see how this ends up going. Uh, and that's probably going to be another good episode. The show is always entertaining, so we'll see how it goes. But per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime past, anime current manga, past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And, if, and as far as the Patreon goes, you get ex exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. Now without further ado, let's hop straight into 2.5 Dimensional Seduction, Episode 7. For three years is crazy. Because he did just become the club president. And we've got to fight to keep our club room intact. Yeah, what's the play here to stop that from happening? Oh god! Bro just blacked out and... <laughs> Cure confusion, the Final Fantasy system. Oh my god, damn he's bleeding a lot from that slap. It didn't feel like that intense of a slap. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff in here, dude. No! Doesn't have a hentai section. Yeah, no. <laughs> Most definitely could not do that. Well, no. They said that they said the place hadn't been up for uh, cl uh, for club status for three years. That's your senpai's fault for not fucking telling you before they left that they're not even an official club. Do what though? That's the big question here. Do one. Wait, if this were a manga, what? Uh, this were manga, this is where the real plot starts. <laughs> Tough otaku, get going. Uh, you'll, we'll figure it out when it happens. Of course, he's not going to suddenly leave you. <laughs> Says when the party's in a trouble, the most cliche line of all time. Tashkani,部の要件を満たして申請が通れば、今の部室を延長して使用することに問題はありません。本当ですか？部の活動内容のレポートなど。Let's review your status, but before we can do that, you need to have an active advisor. Okay. So, so that's where the teacher lady is going to come in that Rarissa ran into last episode. I mean, kinda. <laughs> Good to know that she's actually a really good person. That's great. Yeah, he's gonna struggle to find a teacher. Yeah, we've got a baby at home. Uh, oh boy. So yeah, now the biggest struggle is gonna be finding a person who is willing to advise us. Okumura-chan. Oh my god, why is this dude buff as fuck? Hanyu-sensei is new. Yep, that's definitely... Definitely the person Riri so bumped into. Yeah. Mayuri. <laughs> Mayuri is what they called her. This OST here. We're halfway through the semester now, yeah. Can you back off? Shut up, Lee. Like, bro, these guys. <laughs> uh, fucking white knighting for her. Please, just back up and let her speak. Oh, 
I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. Is she a cosplayer? No way. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. She quit cosplaying to be a teacher. That's why she stopped cosplaying because she wanted to be a teacher. No way that's her. Really? That's crazy. <laughs> She's gonna drag his ass away for saying that nothing. <laughs> okay, yo, whoa! Why'd you become like a delinquent all of a sudden? Okay, dipshit. Jesus. She ba she like barely changed her name from Myra to Myri. I don't, I don't know how I didn't make that connection sooner, to be honest. And you're dead? Oh my god. <laughs> Need me to tell your parents you love them? Their touching me is crazy. You're, you're milky bits, bro. Oh my god, what is happening? Already, already with the bullshit. Already. And this episode just started. <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> yep. And she's here cosplaying at the school. If it weren't so ironic. God, so she seemingly has some reason she refuses to cosplay now. Not after I betrayed the world of cosplay. Okay, yeah. There you go. Her her betraying was her becoming a teacher and quitting cosplaying. If I were still selling DVDs with half naked pictures of myself, I'd lose my job. Yeah, that's a fair point. I guess she just had another dream of becoming a teacher. Um, face Riri Sam. My god, she's got the knife in hand. Mm. But stayed focused on my career. Hello, why are you mad at me? <laughs> why well, I don't think so at all. I was already to formally attire, retire. Oh, so she just completely ghosted everybody, I see. Hmm. <laughs> He's gonna fucking blackmail her into coming into their club room and probably just seeing Riri says cosplay. I bet you he just wants her to come there to see her cosplay and then maybe hoping that'll convince her more. A way to anyone who wants it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so no, he is blackmailing her, but I feel like he also probably wants her to come in and see her sub. But yeah, he is like partly blackmailing her. Be like, if we lose our club room, <laughs> I'll hear you out with this just this once. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you you don't have to come and uh, be our advisor or anything, but at the same time, if you don't, we might just hand out this cause run that we have in here. I'll bring I'm bringing I'm bringing her to the club room so we can talk to her. <laughs> nice senpai, Roger that. Wow. <laughs> Damn, already in cosplay, just chilling there. Damn, she had this whole introduction ready to go. To let her see my cosplay, yeah. <laughs> she... <laughs> Such an incredible otaku. Oh my god, she inspected everything. Your hems could use some more diesel than nice, I can tell you love her. Oh my god! <laughs> Checking down there and everything. <laughs> she needs to recognize you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. 
my amazing <laughs> my amazing but embarrassing first cause rom that's funny and they left it right out in the open it's like okamoto didn't even realize that it, he, he had left it there yeah i have a feeling uh Mayuri's not getting out of this without uh becoming their advisor Lust a lot? <laughs> what a character name. <laughs> what a character name. <laughs> Lust a lot? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I find that name so funny. <laughs> but the respect she has for the series. Damn. <laughs> you I got just a little sidetracked on being passionate. God damn it, now she's gonna run off with the Kazram. God damn it. <sighs> it is painting her so much. Who is that precious cinnamon roll? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be her mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we're dipping into some VTuber legend territory with lines like that. <laughs> I knew it was painting her. I knew no way she was just going to walk away from that and be totally fine. It was absolutely painting her to not be their uh, club advisor. And that wouldn't get her out of my head. <laughs> I'll pay for a premium sub. I've got a higher limit on my credit card. <laughs> That's so funny that Ririsa obsessed over her when she was a child. And even she was like, yeah, if you want to be cosplay, get older and then come back. And now she's the one obsessing over her. <laughs> I saw everything. No, he doesn't. You've heard about your club history. Their old advisor, Fujimoto, took them to... Okay. High school manga championship. Wow. Hell yeah. Oh god, what is the big favor? <laughs> Why did it get all dramatic all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> No, you can't. You absolutely cannot tell them that. Club activity that'll make us sound legit, huh? I've kind of always wanted to draw a Lily L fan comic. One scene? Oh, hello. <laughs> Big ol' hug. You know she's loving every second of this. <laughs> she's just about to leave with her that's hilarious she's literally just about to take Ririsa and leave oh my god ash ford slash lily l safe for work romance 24 pages these were big back in the day wow yeah, so you can have some manga completed. <laughs> yeah! Talking about she doesn't have any advice and she has like the utmost advice. Oh god, his drawings are really bad. <laughs> Thank you, Virisa. Thank you. Mm. 
<laughs> that artwork is kind of brutal. After school program seeking student volunteers. Or did that say art school? Oh, no, it said after school. Was that going to be one of our club activities? Oh, we're going to go around reading ma reading some of the best manga to some kids. You definitely cannot read the Liliel manga, though. Oh my god. Not a soul is listening. <laughs> were we disrounded when we were little? <laughs> that were this serious, yeah. They're probably both exhausted after that, I would assume. We better hope to God it'll be better. Is she gonna come in dressed as Liliel? That can't be safe for work. She better be wearing some more cloth. Okay, there you go. I was about to say, that coming there wearing like nothing is not safe for work, but here we go. She's covered up. How do any of these kids even know who Liliel is? Isn't this supposed to be like a really old series at this point? He's gonna get some pictures. <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? It's crazy. Yeah, they're reading, her, they're reading them a safe for work story too. Thank God. It seems like a lot of this series is not that way. <laughs> yeah, you actually get the kids to fucking calm down. <laughs> and she heard that from the back of the room, just the teacher talking to herself. Is she okay? Damn, the animation on her falling back like that. Jesus. Do any of the anime I recorded, damn. <laughs> she knows the feeling. Itty. Oh, it's her, yeah. <laughs> you better say her name. Almost said Ririsa. Mm. No. You haven't worn your masterpiece. I can if I want to live my life. Oh, I like how they're kind of diving into this. Like, if you do this kind of uh, more not safe for work cosplays, like how how it can affect your life outside of that. That's very. I, I love that we're diving into that side of things. Oh God, drank too much. Hungover as hell at work. What the? Guys, you guys are gonna lose your club room. We don't have that much time. People are probably literally getting ready to come take this club room. We need to like to submit a report now. Don't end the episode. Oh wow, she's literally carrying the manga in the ED, or not the manga, the Kazram in the ED here. She's literally carrying it in the ED. That's crazy. Anyway, good episode. The, seriously, the show continues to just be entertaining every week. That is that is the by far the best way to put it, is that the show is super entertaining week after week. Um, I don't think I have too much else to say here. I'm, I'm sure we're going to dive more into that aspect of uh, how cosplaying and especially more like not safe for work cosplays can uh, affect your life outside of that kind of thing. Uh, I think it's really good that we're diving into that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll find out what Okamura, what Okamura and uh, Ryusa plan to do uh, with their, with their, now that they're throwing away the report of them going and reading to all the kids. I'm curious. I wonder if they want to just do something that's more authentic because them going and reading to the kids isn't what they do. So uh, we'll, we'll find out at the end of the day. I'm sure it's going to tie into uh, my Mayuri's issue uh, with her own cosplay uh, and how she's talking about how she's embarrassed uh, to, do, to do something she loves, but she's embarrassed for like anybody to find out, whatever it may be. Uh, I feel like it's probably going to tie into that in the way that they want to like 
proclaim that they do cosplay and like still keep their club even if they do that. I don't know. I, I don't know what they're gonna do. We'll find out next episode. Anyway, I think it's gonna wrap it up for my action to uh, 215 Dimensional Seduction, episode uh, seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all have a good day.